coral reefs are biodiversity hotspots. So they are less than 1% of the entire ocean, but provide 25% of the species in the ocean. There's a lot of reasons for why we should care about coral. They can stop flooding, um, hurricanes. It's a good barrier for that. Local communities that are around coral reefs, they rely on that for food, for tourism. The estimated value is $11 trillion per year, $11 trillion per year that coral reefs globally provide to humans. For me, um, while all of that is very important, I just think coral reefs are beautiful and I need to work to protect this so that it continues to exist. Losing that ecosystem, which would arguably be the first on the planet, perhaps, that we would really lose, would be devastating. 2018, I went on sabbatical, and that was my year of mourning. So I had a, a, a true crisis about, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I teaching my students? If these corals are gonna be gone, what's the point? But I turned a corner and started thinking about solutions, sort of giving up on this idea of pristine reefs and thinking about creating reefs that can help the people who live on them, even if they're not the reefs that we saw in 1920 or 1850, but reefs that can function, that can provide fisheries, that provide storm barriers, that are perhaps made up of animals that weren't there before, you know, all these new solutions. So this is where the, the field is, is shifting to. What we need to think about more is a mission towards working together with all this knowledge of what we do have and what we do know. How can we uh, engineer that and um, put that to work and help solutions for the future?